all right friends welcome to this video welcome back to my channel i am so happy to have you here we are going to dive right in today this is honestly not a video that i wanted to make the topic of the video itself and the reason i'm making it is not something that i had any desire to do and filming a video talking about it is also not something I plan to do. <laughs> I'll talk more in depth throughout this video on the circumstances that have led to this, but ultimately I'm choosing to let go of something that I'm very passionate about and love dearly, solely due to the Lord's pressing on my heart that this is what we're supposed to do in this season. And I'm bringing you guys along, along with me in the current process of doing it. Initially, when we decided to do this, which was just literally one week ago, when we even had the conversation and decided to do it, I thought that I wouldn't mention what was going on or address it, just carry on as usual here on YouTube and address it eventually if people started asking, just kind of move on. I thought it would be embarrassing to share publicly that you know we're seemingly taking several steps backwards. I thought it would make me seem like less of a homesteader or that I got in over my head and had to back up or that I didn't care about the initial values that I started this channel to begin with, especially because homesteading and our little backyard farm is a huge, huge focus of our channel and the reason why a lot of you are here. But the Lord has been pressing on my heart this past week as we are currently in the process of making and carrying out this decision that not only do I need to share publicly about this process, but I need to share it now in the present moment as it is all happening, not once the chapter is done, final, closed, and we've had time to move on. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm not trying to drag on a video pointlessly. I just truly have a lot that the Lord has placed on my heart to share on this topic, and I wanna be faithful to do that. You guys know that I share my faith. I share that I'm a Christian and that we are living our lives for Jesus. I've shared that many times in the video, and if you are not walking in a similar faith, there is room for you here. We have room for you at our table. You do not have to believe the same as we do to be a part of this channel, to be, to watch our videos, to be encouraged by our life, etc. We don't have to believe the exact same things, but this is what I believe and this is something that we stand really firmly to and that we share really openly about. And that's a huge part of who we are. And so therefore that's a huge part of our channel and that is something that isn't going to change. The decision that I'm talking about today, letting go of something that we're incredibly passionate about and love dearly, is that we have come to the decision fairly suddenly to sell all of our goats. In the homesteading realm of urban homesteading in our backyard and sharing that journey here on YouTube, this feels like a very sudden and huge decision for us. And we're not being forced to make this decision by any means. So to willingly do this feels even more strange and backwards. And if you would have asked me even a few months ago if this is something I would ever willingly do, I would have said absolutely not. It may seem silly to some of you that don't homestead or don't live a lifestyle like ours, but the goats are truly one of my greatest passions currently. I mean, this is something that I researched for so, so long before we even got them. This is something that I dreamed about. I watched so many YouTubes, I read books, I went out and visited a farm and saw how they raised their goats, like just all the things. It was something that I got really, really excited about and the aspect of having raw milk in our own backyard is just, so so cool to me the goats honestly like they're kind of like pets in a way we absolutely love each of them and their quirky personalities and the joy that they bring to our lives i mean don't get me wrong they're stubborn and they also bring <laughs> headaches occasionally just because you know they're animals and sometimes things happen but they bring a lot of joy to our lives they also help us with a lot of our goals as a tiny homestead obviously the dairy aspect of bringing in raw milk every day but also learning skills in animal husbandry the kidding process etc as well as helping us create compost for our garden working towards being more sustainable and being able to put to work lots of different resources like leftover food that is spoiling garden scraps trimmed down tree branches or leaves in the fall they help us with so many things on our little homestead and we absolutely love them for it by the way if you hear any little noises in the background Payson is sitting in my lap as i record this voiceover because she's been a little bit fussy today she's been a little fussy in general lately i don't know exactly why no teeth yet she's six months old no teeth but she sure is acting like she's teething so We'll see, she's been acting like that for a few months, so honestly, who knows at this point. But she's joining me for this video because it's the only way that I can get the voiceover done. So you'll get to hear her little squeaks maybe a little bit in the background. Um, anyways, the process of being able to put so many things that would normally be trash and useless to put it to work by giving it to the goats as food and extra nutritional supplements. It's such a neat process for us to watch and to teach our kids about. We, we really love that. That's something that we didn't necessarily envision 
being such a huge part of the homestead, being able to use things that are just waste. Like we have family that saves their waste scraps. <laughs> now she's blowing bubbles in the background. Um, we have family that saves their waste scraps for us so that we can give it to the goats. And that's just such a neat part of all of this. Getting outside daily to milk is one of my absolute favorite things. It's truly like a therapeutic experience for me and something that I really do enjoy so much. Checking on each of them, filling their hay and water, keeping super close eyes on them many times a day during kidding <coughs> season, watching the mamas bond with their babies after birth and making sure that everyone's doing well, all of that. I've enjoyed it so, so much. It's something I never ever envisioned myself doing or loving. This is not something that I was raised doing. I wasn't raised around animals at all. We didn't even have a dog growing up. So the fact that I have goats and chickens in my backyard in the city now is pretty wild. <laughs> I've had several childhood friends that I've had, you know, my whole life recently that um, obviously they know about the goats because we stay in touch and we talk about them. But especially after they saw the video of our last goat birth here on the homestead and they watched me have to pull the kids out and everything, they were just laughing because they were like, that is something that I never imagined, Cayenne would be doing and now here she is literally pulling goats out during a birth process so how wild all of it is just something that i found such a passion and joy in the last year and a half with keeping our goats and i am so grateful for that but yet here we are deciding to sell our goats and downsize our homestead a bit for the current time being and i'm sure that many of my homesteading friends especially are wondering why on earth we would step backwards like this and honestly i'm shocked that we're doing this as well the answer to why we're doing it is somewhat multifaceted honestly the practical side comes into play with a few different reasons one the financial cost of keeping the goats currently the cost of hay and feed and everything is just rising and rising and rising and it has been since we got them but it continues to rise and it continues to be harder to find and source these things that we need for the goats but the cost is also going up and we're in a season of our lives at this exact moment where we just don't have a lot of extra funds so while we can make it happen i'm not sure that it's the wisest use of the income that we've been blessed with to put that much of our income <laughs> towards the goats um, and what we're getting in return, if that makes sense. So that's one factor. Another factor is the time investment of caring for them daily um, in the midst of a season that honestly is just really, really full. We have three little kids that are all three and under, so we don't have any big kids that can help in the same way that older kids can. Our kids do contribute and they've learned so much, um, but there are still obviously limits to what a two and three year old can help with. and. We only we had two kids when we got into the goats and we then had an unexpected pregnancy afterwards and didn't expect to have another baby so soon afterwards. And we also are in the process of investing heavily in growing several different businesses that we have really big dreams for and we feel very called to. Matt is entering a new season of investing further in his education and career progression that will require more time and finances. And then the last reason, I'll be just transparent and share that we have had a few neighbor issues recently. That's something that we have had questions about in our videos is like, do your neighbors mind? Do you have any issues with neighbors and the noise or anything like that? And we had absolutely zero neighbor issues at all until the beginning of this summer, like two months ago. And really it actually is just one specific neighbor that's a bit older and she's very much made her displeasure known in yeah. recent months. And this isn't the full factor of why we made this decision as we aren't being, we're not being forced to make this decision by any means. We've come to this decision fully on our own, but I'm not gonna lie and say that it hasn't contributed. Something that I really value is just being honest and transparent with all of our journeys, both in homesteading, entrepreneurship, parenthood, like all of those things. I think there's too much in the world where we just show the highlight reel and we don't show the hard things and the negative things. And to just be honest, like that is, that is an aspect of why we're getting rid of them. And it, it sucks and it's hard. Um, but it is what it is. The main reason for all of this, ultimately, if I can wrap it up in a bow, is that the Lord has really been working heavily on my heart in this specific topic for the last few months. I didn't know it would lead to us getting rid of the goats, but I did know that the topic of keeping the goats kept coming up between Matt and I in various different capacities over this summer, and I could really feel the Lord changing my heart and calling me to submission and letting go. I am a control freak. <laughs> I I am. I like to hold really tightly to my own plans. I like to plan out as much as possible of my life. I like to know how things are going to go. I don't like surprises. All of those things. That's just kind of naturally built into me and my personality. And we've had several instances in recent months where the Lord has just been working on my heart and letting go of certain idols in my life that have honestly 
you know, I wouldn't have called them idols at the time, but looking back, that's what they were, is I was holding them in higher priority than I was holding my willingness to let them go and follow what the Lord was calling me to. That's the honest truth of it. And one of those instances, earlier in the summer, we actually had an opportunity to rent a house on a couple of acres. It was right by some of our dearest friends, like literally like a minute down the road so we could practically walk to their house and the landlords were incredibly sweet we could have all of our animals there we could even grow our farm a little bit the house was beautiful and about double the size of our house currently there were so many things uh, and we ultimately ended up saying no to that opportunity even though it seemed like the perfect opportunity and that was an instance where we we felt a little bit crazy honestly saying no but we just didn't feel peace about it we specifically knew that if we were going to say yes to this house that it wasn't going against what the lord was was calling us to in this season and there wasn't a specific answer why which made it a lot harder to make that decision when that was something we had been praying for and it seemed like such a blessing but the fact that both Matt and I did not have peace about it was something like we are not going to walk into a decision that we do not feel peace from the Lord about like that's just setting us up for disaster and so we walked away from that and we've had other things in our life that we've had to walk away from another recent-ish struggle was walking away from entrepreneurship for a season and now we're hopefully walking back into that in some capacity but we have walked away we were full-time entrepreneurs for well over five years and I own my own business for over 10 years and we walked away from that and Matt went and got a job and I took a season of not having a business at all and not because I wanted to but specifically because the Lord was telling me it was time to rest and it was time to walk away from it for a season and that was one of the hardest decisions that I've ever made in my life I'll have to talk about that further maybe in another video um, but that was something I held so 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 tightly to for years and finally I like softened my heart the Lord softened my heart and I, I walked in obedience to what he was calling me to and I'm so grateful that I did that there have been so many blessings that have come out of that um, but it's really hard still to make those decisions I'm personally, I'm just not interested in continuing to do something that I know the Lord is specifically calling me away from for a season. No matter how much I love that thing or hobby or passion, if the Lord is calling me away from it, I want to obey and follow His will, not my own. No matter how heartbreaking or hard or seemingly backwards that decision might seem to me, the Lord knows. Ecclesiastes 3 talks about, for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. And it goes on to say, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. And it goes on and lists out a whole bunch of different things. And Romans 8, 28 says, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. And both of those verses have really been encouraging us and affirming us in our decision because we know that there is a season for everything and we know that this you know ultimately the lord is calling us out of this season of having goats at the moment and that doesn't mean it won't happen in the future it doesn't mean it will happen in the future it just means that it's not the season right now and we also our promise that the Lord is going to work everything for good and so while we don't know why we specifically need to get rid of these goats we don't know what blessings it might bring we don't know what problems we might avoid by getting rid of them we don't know any of that and we may not know any of that but we know that the Lord is going to work this for good and that this is going to be ultimately for his glory if we follow this calling and obey this calling in our lives and I'm just sharing really transparently because I think people don't talk about this stuff enough they talk about you know, the highlights um, when the Lord answers prayers and when he calls them to specific things. But I feel like they don't talk about the hard times when we don't have answers for something, but we're being called to walk away from it. And we're trying to just be faithful to obey that. And I feel like that needs to be talked about as Christians more because I feel like there's way more in between times like this than there is. the. I don't know specifically why we have to let go of having goats for a season. I don't even know how long that season will be. I don't know when we will finally be able to find a house and property with more land that we can afford and is a good fit for our goals for our family and homestead. You know, we've been looking for land and it's taken much longer than we thought. The prices have been much higher than ever before. It's been much harder to get a house. There have been so many roadblocks in so many areas and it's it's been discouraging to be honest. We thought we would have our own land and our own 
house on that land by now and the reality is that we don't and we're not super close to that at this point either. I don't know when we'll be able to pursue starting over our little goat herd. I'm honestly devastated at the idea that I'll have to start over from scratch when I've been so incredibly happy with the direction and all the hard changes that we've had to make this year. Like we put a lot in this year to sell some of our goats that we originally started with, um, find new goats that fit the specific goals we were going for with our goat herd, make sure that they fit in well with all the other goats we have. We've just had to make like a lot of hard decisions already this year and I feel like we got to a really awesome place and I'm really proud of where we got to and the goals that we have accomplished and then to have to sell them and move on it sucks it's it's not easy um it seems a little bit like all that work was for naught but i know that that's not the case whether we get goats again six months from now two years from now 20 years from now or never i know that i'm going to be faithful to follow what the lord is calling me and my family to no matter my insecurities or fears that all seem like less of a homestead or that my youtube channel will no longer appeal to my audience without having the goats all of those things. I want to be faithful to what the Lord is calling us to. And you know, it may seem silly and small to you. For us, this is a really big deal. This is a really big passion in our life. This is a really big area of our life that we've poured just a lot of blood, sweat, tears, hard work, money, all of those things. We've just poured a lot into this in the last year and a half. And so it's something that is hard for us to let go of, honestly. And that's why I'm sharing it because the Lord is pushing me to share it. And even if it just encourages one person, it will be worth it. Because honestly, I feel very vulnerable posting a video like this sharing such a peek inside like the back end of our lives and um, it's not easy to always put your life out there like that but I know that again I just this is another thing when you feel pushed to do something from the Lord I want to I want to obey that and I want to obey it immediately and not wait around until I feel comfortable doing so so that's the update for you my friends um the practical plan is I mean we don't have too much of a plan if you are around anywhere around the Wichita area and you are interested in goats or know someone who is interested in goats, goats definitely send me a DM on Instagram at Cayenne and Matt. I'll put my handle here and I would love to talk to you about it. Um, and we, yeah, we're actively pursuing homes for them at this point and hoping to find really awesome homes for them very quickly. So if you know anyone who would be interested, definitely message me. I would love to get them in another homestead type situation where they can be really loved and cared for and just really appreciated and valued because we have poured a lot of time and effort into them and I really want to see them go to an awesome place. So thank you for watching this friends. I hope that this was encouraging in some way or another and if you are new around here, I don't typically share videos quite in this style, but I do share a lot of videos on backyard homesteading, homemaking, intentional motherhood with little kids, all of those kind of things. And if you like that kind of content, I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of this YouTube family. And thank you again for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.